favor on real quick, I want to thank sponsor today's video being Surfshark VPN. So if you're not familiar, I've been using Surfshark VPN for years now. It is my preferred virtual private network. And what is a virtual private network? Well, essentially it's gonna help keep your data safe on the internet. I have so many passwords, credit card numbers, like so many things stored that online and on our computers nowadays. And especially if you're gonna use any public networks, you need to protect yourself. So that's why I use Surfshark and where it comes in. So Surfshark is actually in limited devices. So I have it on my phone, I have it on my computer. I'll use it to shop internationally. So if I'm in Canada and I wanna use an American website, I can just simply change my location and voila, I am, can now shop at American stores. If you live somewhere where you can't access media like Disney Plus, you can change your location, then you'll be able to. Surfshark also comes with a money back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Cybersecurity is super important right now, so protect your data. Click that link down below to surfshark.deals forward slash Joel H and use that code Joel H to get 83% off and three months free. Yes, 83% off, three months free. Anonymize, protect, and keep your data. So with that, let's get to the rest of the video. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. And today we're gonna be in San Angelo, Texas at a place called Whiskey River Saloon, taking on their chicken fried steak challenge. So you know, I like chicken fried steaks. Let's just say chicken fried steaks and me, we have some history. It's something I don't normally get up north in Canada. So it's something I really enjoy when I get down to the south. Um, check out that freaking chicken hair going on right now. So for today's challenge, we are gonna have only 20 minutes, just 20 minutes to eat a chicken fried steak, a giant chicken fried steak, which I believe is consisting of about five or six of their traditional chicken fried steaks. Then we have one side, um, which you know you could pick like potatoes or french fries or green beans will probably go with some some health and uh, then as well we have a two pieces of texas toast so with that let's go have some fun let's eat some food uh, if we can complete the challenge we are going to get the meal for free and if not we're paying for the meal which i believe is maybe about 40 50 dollars something like that so anyway let's go have some fun let's eat some food Let's get to it. All right, everyone, so here I with the challenge. Uh, it is definitely pretty big. Um, I am going to just talk like this because it's a little loud. But yeah, so we have the giant chicken fried steak, Texas chicken fried steak, that's for sure. Then we have a side of green beans for my one side of green beans. Got to get some help. We have the uh, two uh, slices of Texas style toast. And he's absolutely then smothered in their white peppercorn gravy. So that's about it, guys. Let's get started here momentarily. Should be a lot of fun and uh, wish us luck. It's going to be a lot of food. All right, everyone, so how do we get started? We'll say. Actually here, I forgot. I have a big cut on my hand, so I have gloves. Good thing I remembered. It doesn't like when it gets food on. All right, and hopefully it's not hot, but it looks very delicious. Ooh, lots of gravy, so how do we get started? Pretty much like right now. Cheers. I feel like a chicken fried steak, this tastes very good. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here taking on a giant chicken fried steak challenge. So if you're not familiar what a chicken fried steak is, because in much of the world they really are not popular or not really well known, a chicken fried steak is literally a piece of steak, like beef steak, um, which is cooked like fried chicken, being it is battered and then deep fried. Now the steak often is malleted out for not only uh, tenderization purposes, but also just kind of for like thinness. And then again, battered, deep fried. Um, so for this challenge, we had a mere 20 minutes, yes, 20 minutes to complete the giant chicken fried steak. Um, definitely not a lot of time and it was definitely a lot of food. So the steak itself was um, five of their standardized um, uh, chicken fried steaks. And then again, we had the two pieces of Texas toast, which is a thick bread, a much thicker style of toast. And then we had the uh, one side, which I went with the green beans. 
So now the chicken fried steak is smothered in their white country gravy. Some people might also call it like a sausage gravy um, but it, or peppercorn gravy. All are very similar um, with the sausage being made with sausage drippings. But essentially that is kind of like a bechamel in a way you could compare it. Um, you know, if, if you're looking at other kinds of cuisines. But essentially we're talking flour and or fat basically. But, you know, and seasonings. But of course that's pretty delicious let's be honest so chicken fried steaks are definitely a pretty common item in the southern united states um, and i generally would say like texas is a good place to associate them with it uh, so with such a tr big chicken fried steak i definitely knew i was just going to have to kind of get at it and get eating um, the restaurant itself was pretty uh pretty noisy as well it is, it is a, like a bar it's a you know really uh, big facility um, and by the evenings they're definitely bumping and this was an evening at that so that's why there's a lot of uh, voiceover versus natural commentary now, um, when it came to the food itself, food was all solid, no complaints about that. Um, the staff were also super friendly. Um, the steaks in this chicken roast steak I found were really thick as well. Um, so you were definitely getting a very like large portion of steak. A lot of chicken fried steaks are melted very thin, and this one definitely uh, was a thicker chicken fried steak, if you were to ask me. What I found as well is, um, here in uh, you know kind of West Texas um, again the people are just absolutely phenomenal like the there's a lot of patrons around which were really uh, interested in what we were doing they were watching again the staff were really friendly I will say the uh, amount of gravy on this challenge as well was astronomical there was a texas size amount of country uh, country of country gravy or peppercorn gravy on this chicken fried steak um, which definitely did add some lubricity um, but definitely added a lot of weight as well uh, this was my second challenge of the day so i of course like i said really need to kind of keep my head down in order to make sure we could get that win or at least attempt to get that win as i was definitely filling up it was a lot a lot of food <laughs> Grab probably like four and a half minutes in. Chicken fried steaks go down pretty good. It's definitely nice and hot, but uh, yeah, getting through it. But that, I believe that's pretty much all the info I have for you today. Uh, definitely a giant, giant chicken fried steak. Um, so huge thanks to all the staff and everybody at Whiskey River Saloon. Uh, definitely, like I said, I guess the place is absolutely hopping on a Saturday, sun, uh, Friday, Saturday. Kind of, you know, again, they have DJs. Um, all kinds of uh, and nightly entertainment, I guess you could say. And then, of course, they have their food and uh, dinner menu as well. So that I want to let you to the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy. Uh, let me know if you ever had a chicken fried steak down below and what you thought of it. And at that, ultimately, let's get to the rest of the video.
So about eight minutes in, got the meat gone, but gotta finish up some spreading. Then we're on to the toast and the green beans.
something minutes so definitely a lot of food um, but huge thanks to all the staff here very very friendly uh, excuse me comments to the chef definitely a Texas sized chicken fried steak that's for sure um, but yeah that's about it everybody so I hope you enjoyed the video if you're ever in the area definitely stop on by I know it's a bump at nightclub on the weekend they're gonna transition over to that here momentarily um, well, that's about that. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did like that button, hit that like button down below. Uh, of course, don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends, etc. So, that's it. Until next time, stay happy, the hungry, happy eating, of course. Have a good day.